Some of you might hear the saying that intermittent fasting, also known as IF, is the gold standard when you're trying to lose weight. But have you really asked yourself the question on why does it work or how does it work? And is this the only method to follow when you're trying to lose weight? Well, in today's video, we're going to take a closer look on what is intermittent fasting? Is there a difference between calorie restriction? And is this the method that you want to follow to ensure you're reaching your fat loss goal this year? What is going on everyone? It's Coach Angelo and in today's video I'm going to help you explain what is intermittent fasting and if there's a difference between intermittent fasting versus calorie restriction. For any of you that are new to my channel, my name is Angelo. I'm a both fitness and nutrition coach that specializes in body transformation clients and I've competed in numerous powerlifting and bodybuilding competitions before in the past. Now before I begin, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel hit that bell button down below. This way you'll be notified when I post another fitness related contact video like this, because my goal for my channel is to help you transform your body, boost your self-esteem, increase your self-confidence, and ensure you're becoming a better version of yourself while enjoying every step of this amazing journey. Now, just heads up, this might be a long video because there's a lot of scientific information that I'm gonna explain and really go into depth on what intermittent fasting is. If you look down in the description, I would have time codes for you guys reference if you wanna fast forward to a different chapter in this video. Now, for anyone that's unfamiliar on what is intermittent fasting, intermittent fasting is an eating pattern that cycles between periods of fasting and eating. It doesn't specific which foods you should eat, but rather when you should eat them. Common intermittent fasting methods involve daily 16 hour fast or fasting for 24 hours twice per week. Fasting has been a practice throughout human evolution. Asian hunters gatherers didn't have supermarkets, refrigerators or food available year round. Sometimes they couldn't find anything to eat. As a result, humans evolved to be able to function without food for extended periods of time. In fact, fasting from time to time is more natural than always eating three to four more meals per day. Fasting is also done for religious or spiritual reasons, including in Islam, Christianity, Judaism, and Buddhism. There are many different types of intermittent fasting methods, but the three most common are the 16-8 method, this involves skipping breakfast and restricting your daily eating period to an eight hour window and fasting for the remaining 16 hours. An example could be an eating window of 12 to 8 p.m. and then fasting for 16 hours until the next day. The eat stop eat method. This involves fasting for 24 hours once or twice a week. For example, by not eating from dinner one day until the next day. Lastly, the 5-2 method. With this method, you consume either 500 to 600 calories on two non-consecutive days of the week, but eat normally the other five days. Essentially, what you're doing with either of these three methods is you're restricting your caloric intake, and as long as you're eating whatever your caloric goal is during your eating window, you're gonna be losing weight. But if you're overeating during your eating window, you will either not lose weight, or you might have a possibility of even gaining weight. There are some key health benefits that happen to your body when you do intermittent fasting, such as increase your HGH, human growth hormone levels, which can aid in fat loss and muscle growth. Insulin sensitivity improves and levels of insulin drop dramatically. Lower insulin levels make stored body fat more accessible and used for energy consumption. Lastly, intermittent fasting can lead to an automatic reduction of your caloric intake, which then again leads to fat loss. Another benefit when it comes to intermittent fasting is you have more flexibility with the meal choices that you could have in your meal plan. The main reason is since you have a shorter eating window, you could still have more high caloric meals in your plan. However, like I mentioned before, the main reason why intermittent fasting works is because it helps you to restrict your daily caloric intake. However, keep in mind, if you're overeating during your eating window, you won't be losing weight and you might have a possibility that you might be gaining weight. Make sure during your eating window, you're sticking with your caloric intake and try not to go over that amount. Now, before you jump on the intermittent fasting train, 
and decide that this is the method that you want to follow to aid in your fat loss journey, you have to ask yourself the most important question when it comes to following a diet plan. Are you going to be able to sustain this approach and follow it throughout your fat loss journey? Now, if any of you watched my previous videos, I personally do not believe in one diet method is the best approach to follow. At the end of the day, whatever method you decide to follow is the one that you're going to be able to sustain and make sure that you're following that approach throughout the whole entire duration of your fat loss journey. The best diet is the one that you're going to be able to implement for the rest of your life and be consistent with it. Hence, this is the reason that I personally do not like to use the word diet. I rather use the word lifestyle because at the end of the day, that is what you're doing. You're changing your lifestyle. Diet is something that's more short term. A lifestyle is something that you're going to follow for the rest of your life. The biggest reason why intermittent fasting might not work for someone when they're trying to lose weight is because at the end of the day, they're not able to sustain and follow this approach. For an example, if they go all day and starving and not eating, and then when it comes to their eating window, if they end up binge eating and over consume what they need to consume for their daily caloric intake. Let's say if their caloric intake is only 2000 and they consume anywhere between additional 500 or even a thousand, they're not going to be losing weight at that point. They're either going to be in their maintenance calories or they might be in a surplus and have the possibility of gaining weight. This is caused by the hormone ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hormone produced in the gut. It is often termed the hunger hormone. It travels through your bloodstream and to your brain where it tells your brain to become hungry and seek out food. Ghrelin's main function is to increase appetite. It makes you consume more food, take in more calories and store fat. So when ghrelin kicks in, you might not be able to resist the temptation to overeat which is going to lead to overconsumption of your caloric intake. Also, if your goal is to lose weight and build muscle at the same time, you might not be able to optimally do both if you're following an intermittent fasting approach. Because let's say if you're only eating one big meal, or maybe if you're only eating two meals during your eating window, you might not be able to let protein synthesis from occurring by eating more frequent meals with a decent amount of protein in each meal. Now, this is a topic that I can help explain to you guys in a future video. There are some additional cons when it comes to following intermittent fasting approach. Besides the possibility of gaining weight, if you're overeating during your fasting window, it could lead to you having headaches, dizziness, and feeling nauseous. Also, it might lead to disordered eating. Now, if you're able to follow this approach and not binge eat during your eating window, this might be a good method for you to follow to help aid with your fat loss. Just remember at the end of the day to plan your meals accordingly and to choose nutrient dense meals that are also higher in protein and lower in saturated fat. So you might be asking yourself if intermittent fasting has all these health benefits and it'll help me to lose weight. Plus I could still enjoy the foods that I love. Then why should I follow a caloric restriction diet? That is a great question to ask. And that's the reason I want to help you decide which method you want to follow. Essentially at the end of the day with intermittent fasting and caloric restriction, what you're doing is you're reducing your daily caloric intake, which is going to ensure that you're in a caloric deficit. And this is the main thing that you need to do when you're trying to lose weight. If you think about the laws of thermodynamic first law of thermodynamics, also known as the law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Energy can only be transferred or changed from one form to another. If you're eating less calories than what your body is burning, you're going to be losing weight with calorie restriction. You don't have to worry about going hours without eating. You could eat whatever you want, but just keep in mind that you do have a caloric intake amount and then make sure you're staying under that amount. Now you might find studies out there saying that caloric restriction doesn't work because it could cause your basic metabolic rate, also known as your BMR to slow down because your body goes into a starvation mode. If you're constantly dropping your calories on a weekly basis, if you ever watch the show, the biggest loser, you'll see participants starting the show that are overweight. They go in a severe caloric deficit. And each day they're doing endless hours of cardio, which this is a big recipe for disaster. And usually what happens after the show, they end up putting back their initial weight and sometimes even more weight. Now there are two reasons why this happens. Now for reason number one, they're following a method that's not sustainable and something that they could do in the long term. For reason number two, when you drop your calories by a significant amount, 
you are going to lower your BMR, also known as your basal metabolic rate, because your body does have a set point on how much fat your body needs to store to be able to function on a daily basis. When you reach that set point, you're not going to lose any more weight. And if you continue to drop your calories, you might have a possibility of damaging your metabolism in the long run. Now, you might ask yourself, how can I still lose weight by following a calorie restriction method? Easy, by increasing your non-exercise thermogenic, also known as your NEAT. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis, also known as NEAT, is the energy expended from everything we do that is not sleeping, eating, or sports-like exercise. It ranges from the energy expended walking to work, typing, performing yard work, undertaking agriculture task and fidgeting. The reason why people stop losing weight when they're following a caloric restriction method is during their initial fat loss phase, that first dropping calories from their maintenance, this will ensure that they're in a caloric deficit. But once you stop losing weight, the initial amount that you're currently eating, this is not gonna be your new maintenance. And if you constantly drop your calories, what's end up gonna happening is, like I mentioned before, your body does have a set point on how much weight it wants to keep or how much fat your body wants to store in your body for you to be able to function on a daily basis. So what end up happening is you start moving less and your NEAT, also known as your non-exercise activity, thermogenesis, starts decreasing. So you drop your calories and what end up happening is you're not moving as much. This is gonna lead to you not losing weight. The easy solution to fix this method is just by moving more. This could be either by walking more, increase your daily steps, or increase the amount of cardio you're doing in your training program. This would ensure that you're in a caloric deficit and continue to lose weight. If you've been getting value so far from watching this video, make sure to like the video. And I want to know in the comment section down below, what is your top takeaways? And which method do you prefer to follow when you're trying to lose weight? Do you prefer an intermittent fasting approach or a calorie restriction? Also, if you need some additional help or support when it comes to your fat loss journey, make sure to click the link in my description down below. And remember, like this video, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.